Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be doing an extreme glam transformation with both my hair as well as my makeup. I've been really itching to just play around, do like a really extravagant makeup look and just do like a totally different glam transformation, different from looks that I typically do here on my channel. But I feel like the transformation is not complete if we don't go ahead and add to the hair a little bit and change up the hair as well. If you guys have been watching me religiously, then you know that I pretty much wear my hair straight in like this in all of my videos. Sometimes I will switch it up and do like waves. Sometimes I'll do curls, but mostly I'm here with my pin straight hair down, parted down the middle, literally the same every time. So for today's video, along with the makeup transformation, I am also going to be adding to and switching up my hair today using Insert Name Here products. I'm sure you guys have heard of Insert Name Here before. They were so kind enough to reach out to me and send me a couple of hair pieces to feature in today's video and I am very excited for this. I have been absolutely loving these hair pieces so we're just gonna get into it. I'm going to show you guys the different hair pieces and then show you the one that I want to wear today for my glam transformation. So thank you so much to insert name here for sending me over these hair pieces to show my subscribers. I will have a discount code for you guys in the description box below if you want to shop insert name here. I believe it's is I have my notes right here. It is the code Jackie Ann for 10% off site wide. So let's go ahead and jump on into this glam transformation. I am so excited to show you guys these different hair pieces. So let's just go ahead and jump on into it. I do want to say you guys that this video is not sponsored. They are not paying me to film this video. They just sent me the product and if I loved it, I could feature it in a video and I do really love it. I only share with you guys things that I truly love here and that I really recommend. Insert name here overall offers really high quality hair pieces. You guys can do extensions. They have ponies. They have bangs, buns, different colors, lots of different colors depending on your hair color, your hair undertone, and things like that. They have straight ponies, curly ponies, whatever your heart desires with your hair, they probably will have it on their website. So the first piece that I'm going to be showing you today are their 22 inch U-clip hair extensions. The shade that I have the U-clip extensions is, is in the shade dark brown. This is what dark brown looks like right here. Now I have to say the girl that I was in contact with was absolutely amazing making sure that I found the right color match. My hair is a little bit weird in the sense that my roots are very dark but the ends of my hair if you guys can see are a lot lighter than my roots. So in the insert name here hair products I'm kind of somewhere in between a dark brown and a mixed brown depending on the product. These U-clip extensions for reference are in the shade dark brown and they match my roots pretty perfectly but I would say next to my face the color is a little dark if you guys can see considering my ends are lighter so I do have this in the shade dark brown I do have other hair pieces in mixed brown that matches me better that I'm going to jump into in a second but I just wanted to show you guys how beautiful these extensions are as I said everything feels very high quality and you also get these really cute satin bags to store the hair pieces in when you're done with them for me what I want extensions for and how I I want to transform my hair in this glam transformation. It's just adding a lot of volume, a lot of thickness. Although I do have pretty long hair, my hair is about 22 inches itself, so I don't really use the extensions for length. It just adds so much thickness. I love that feeling of having so much hair to play around with, and it just elevates my hair to that next level, again, especially when I'm doing more of a glam look like this. For the U-clip extensions, you're going to want to split your hair in half just so you could clip them underneath your head and then let your top layer of hair fall on top. I have very thin hair so I found that for me personally when applying the U-clip extensions I have to do more hair on the top so that when I let it down it really covers the um, clips and stuff like that. But as you can see this is super easy to apply on the inside here. It has like this netting and it just has these tiny little clips going all around. So I'm just going to make sure they are all unhooked so I could secure them onto the back of my head.
All right, so once those are all clipped in, I'm just going to let down the top layer of my hair. Oh, kidding. I don't know if you guys can already tell just how much more thick and like voluminized my hair looks. Even just like at the base right here, my hair is so much more thick, but I'm going to also stand up to show you guys here. This just gives me so much more volume. As I said, my natural hair is pretty much the same length as the extensions, but look at how thin, like this is my natural hair right here. It is so thin. I love this feeling of just having so much more hair to play around with. It feels so awesome. And as I said, dark brown is a little bit off for the ends if you guys can see this is dark brown here and then my natural hair is on the top but as someone who is using these more just for that added volume to have some more thickness it doesn't even show that much and if it does it gives like a really cool almost like low lighted effect to my hair which I just think is so awesome it just feels so great to have thick hair when I tell you guys I've had thin hair all of my life I mean it, like I've never had hair this thick and it was so easy to throw in. I have you guys zoomed out as much as possible right now so hopefully you could see the whole head as best as you can, but like my hair is so incredibly thick right now. If you guys have shorter hair and want long hair, these are incredible. But just that amount of volume and thickness I am getting is 10 out of 10, I am obsessed with this hair piece. All right, so now I'm going to be trying on their Brit Pony, which is one of my favorites. I absolutely love their ponytails. I really do like wearing a high pony a lot, but again, my hair is just thin, and I feel like it looks cute, but I like that elevated look. So here is the Brit Pony, and here is the shade Mixed Brown, which is my preferred hair shade. Again, I know my roots are darker, but this just goes with my ends a lot nicer, and I just like that lighter brown pony look towards the end of my hair. So these ponies are really awesome. Again, this is the Brit Pony. The Brit Pony has a little bit of a wave to it again trying to lean back so you guys can see it's so super easy to apply you just clip it on the top of your pony wrap this around and all the ponytails come with two bobby pins for easy securing to the head so I'm just going to throw on the Brit pony Okay, and then here is the Brit Pony. I hope you guys can see, look at just how long and thick and beautiful this pony is. The Brit Pony does have a little bit of a wave to it. Looks like I could brush it out a little bit. These brush out really easy. Just look at that like flip that it has at the bottom. This is so super cute. Again, just a little clip of it zoomed out so you guys can see all of this hair. These ponies you can put anywhere on your head. I know it's very trendy to do like the super high pony and kind of flip it over. I prefer more of just like a medium height pony where I could kind of pull it to the side like this or you could wear it in the back. You could also add a fun scrunchie. You could do hair accessories. You could braid the pony. Literally, you could do anything you want. I would just be careful with some heat. I believe when you do straighten these, there's no way to get back the original texture, and I love the wave that this Brit Pony has, and as you guys can see, the mixed brown is just perfect for me. It is really what I love in a hair color. Look at that, the difference when I remove the pony. That makes such a huge difference, I love this. All right, so those are the pieces from Insert Name here that I wanted to mention. Again, thank you so much to INH for sending these products my way to mention in a video. For today, I'm going to leave in the Brit Pony because I absolutely love it. I love this like giant ponytail feeling, very like Ariana Grande vibes. They have so many different ponies to pick from on their website. I just thought this one would be like perfect for the type of look and the whole vibe that I'm going for today. So if you guys want to shop insert name here, you can use the code Jackie Ann for 10% off. Not a commission code for me. It'll just help you guys save some money if you want to shop their hair pieces. So now that the hair is done and I have this giant glam ponytail, let's go ahead and jump on into the makeup look. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do today, but I think I want to do something like pink, super fun out there, maybe a cut crease. All I know is, is I want to get glam. So let's 
go ahead and jump on into the makeup. Of course, first step in getting glam is adding a little brow or a lot of brow in my case. I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in chocolate, of course. And this matches the mixed brown shade of the ponytail really nicely as well. My eyebrows are done now. I'm just going in with a little bit of concealer. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer to prime my eyes and make a nice base for the eyeshadow. I am going to go ahead and clean up the brows when I go in with my face makeup. I just kind of wanted to throw on the shape just so I have a guide for my eyeshadow, but I still have to like clean them up and go in with a little brow powder as well in a little while. But I just wanted a quick guide to see where I'm gonna go with my eyeshadow because I think I am going to do a cut crease today. So for today's eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Jackie Ina, my favorite. When I wanna get really glam and really transform myself, this is the palette that I go for. And when I was thinking of this look and putting together this video, I just had in mind a pink cut crease. And one of my favorite pinks is Supreme from the Jackie Ina palette. So I'm just going to take this and first start by like kind of outlining the shape of a cut crease. I think this brush had a little brown on it from last time I did my makeup. I'm going to try to cover that up and really just focus on the pink. But when I'm shaping a cut crease, I like to go, of course, above my natural crease. As someone who has hooded eyes, I like to go above my natural crease and then just take this out, like flick it out this way and up towards the end of the eyebrow. I will definitely be the first one to admit that I don't think cut creases are the most flattering on my eye shape, but they're always still fun to play around with when I want to switch it up like I'm doing today. To go in and cut the crease and clean the look up, I'm going in with ColourPop's No Filter Concealer. This is in the shade Fair 08, which is really light on me, but I like that for carving out the lid, just to give it a more defined look, and also to make a nice bright base for other eyeshadow colors to pop off of. So I'm just taking it on this little tiny brush. This doesn't have a name on it. It was from like a makeup artist set that I got a while ago but it's just a really tiny flat paddle brush. I'm picking up some of that concealer and I'm going to start carving out the shape of the cut crease that I want. Again, as someone with hooded eyes, I have to kind of fake this a little. I'm going to go up above my natural crease. My favorite part of the cut crease is probably like carving out the tail end. I love that. I think it looks so cool. It's very satisfying to do. So I'm just kind of filling in now these gaps, patting out the concealer as I go. So now that I have my cut crease on, I'm going to set the lid and I'm sticking in the Jackie Ina palette and I'm going to use the shade Soleil right here just to set down that concealer and add a really nice sheen and shimmer to the lid. All right, so now that I have my lid covered in that beautiful light champagne gold, I'm just going to go back in and touch up the pink a little bit with the same small brush. Here's the time where I want to like intensify that shade, kind of clean up if I got any of the champagne shade out of the cut crease here and just really intensify the pink overall. If you guys are following along and you want to get really glam, you could go ahead and pop on some lashes, but you know me, I'm not a huge lash kind of girl. I just love me some mascara. Even with more out there looks like this, I just like to throw on some mascara. So for today, I'm using the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Primer as well as their Exhibitionist Uncensored Mascara. This is my favorite eyelash combination recently, really lengthening, volumizing, everything I want for glam eyelashes. So I'm 
I'm going to pop off camera, throw on some mascara, and then we will be back to glam up the face. Okay, so now jumping on into the face makeup, I'm going to do like my super glam full coverage base that I absolutely love when I wanna get more glam on certain days. So to start off, I'm going to prime, of course, with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, my absolute favorite primer when I want my skin to look flawless, when I want my makeup to last all day. This is my go-to holy grail face primer, so I'm just going to work this into the skin. My favorite foundation ever for more glam day, of course, is the Maybelline 24 Hour Super Stay. Today, I'm going in with the shade 120 to match my little bit of a tan. Typically, I do wear 118 if I am at my fairest, but I did get a little bit tan over this weekend, so I'm going in with 120, which I might actually be out of. Let me spread this out to make sure I have enough. I love this foundation so much. It is so full coverage, very glam, perfect for days where I want that heavier full coverage, but it doesn't feel heavy on the skin. It barely even feels like I'm wearing any foundation. I probably could go down maybe like a shade. I have 130, but that's too dark. Maybe I would need something in between right now, like one, 22 or 125, but we're just gonna bronze it up because I don't want to go too dark right off the bat because I don't think I'm at my full summer shade yet. To conceal, you guys already know my fave e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I'm using the shade Light Beige to begin with. Now that it's summer, I have been really liking light beige for under my eyes, but I want to brighten it up just a little bit for that more glam lifted look. So this is the shade Light Ivory in the Hydrating Camo Concealer, and I'm just going to be mixing that in on just a few points of my face that I either want to look really lifted or just nice and highlighted and bright. To set everything in place, I'm going in with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. I absolutely adore this stuff. It keeps my makeup in place for a really long time, but it looks like literally skin. Like you just put it on and it blends right into the skin, but your face is still nice and set and lasts for an extremely long time. So I'm sure you guys have seen me do this before. I have been loving just dipping my sponge into the powder and using my sponge to really press the powder into my face to set it. Jumping back to the eyes to finish up the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with the shade Pinker right here, also in the Jackie Ina palette. It's a beautiful, almost like a mix of a pink and a purple, almost as if the two shades on the outside of it had a baby and made this shade right here. It's a beautiful, like, deep pink, kind of fuchsia pink. So I'm just going to start by lightly smudging this underneath the eye here. Now I'm taking that shade on a little bit of a smaller brush and I'm going to trace underneath the cut crease here, just to lightly outline it and to kind of redefine that like cat eye shape that I want. Bronzing the skin today using NARS Laguna Bronzer. I want a lot of bronzer today just because I feel like the foundation's a little light, but just to really add to that glam, structured, bronzy look. I love a lot of bronzer. For blush today, I'm using Milani Berry Amore Baked Blush. This is 03, just a beautiful like berry pinky purple shade that I think will look really nice with these eyes. Let's finish up the face now with some highlighter. The most important part to me about looking glam is getting that highlighter really poppin', really bright and reflective. So I'm going to be using a Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighting Duo in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. Again, more of like that pinky undertone to match the eye. And it's just very bright 
and reflective. Great for a glam look. I'm also taking this on the inner corner of the eye for a bright pop in there. I almost forgot to contour my nose, which would have been upsetting because that really kind of like snatches the center of the face and ties the whole look together. So I'm just going in again with the NARS Laguna bronzer and I'm just going to lightly, oh, that's not very light at all. I'm going to blend that out, but I'm going to try to just lightly contour and shape the nose. A little nose contour makes a world of a difference in my opinion, so I'm just going to finish it up with some highlighter down the center to help slim it out. Finishing up the whole look with the lips lastly, I'm going to start them off by lining them with Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner. And I'm going to top that off with Pillow Talk Lipstick as well. All right, you guys, so that is going to complete this video. Here is the final makeup and hair transformation for you. I had a lot of fun putting this makeup look together. Definitely different for me, but really fun. I love the pink and purple. I love the full glam, but I have to say, I really think the difference in the hair and adding the Brit ponytail made a huge difference. It just steps up my normal ponytail game so much, and I absolutely love it. This ponytail has such a nice weight to it. I will show you guys so you could see the full thing again one more time. I am just loving how it looks with this transformation. Again, huge thank you to INH for sending me the pony and the extensions to play around with. I just love having other options for my hair, especially when I want to really transform how I look like this. Having this thick hair really makes me feel like a new woman. Oh, and also don't forget if you guys are going to shop, you could use the code JackieAnn for 10% off site-wide. Again, not a commission code just to save you some money. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed seeing this video and spending time with me today. If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Also make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel before you leave. I would love to have you guys here as part of my little YouTube fam. If you don't want to miss out on any of my future videos, click that notification bell down below and you'll get notified every single time that I upload a new video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.